So today I'm talking about a P0480 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0480 code? Well, it's a cooling fan one control circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, basically the engine's computer is seeing that the temperature inside the engine is going up. So it's sent a command to the cooling fan. And for some reason there's an issue that the voltage is right inside the fan circuit. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0480 code? Well, the first thing to go and check is for any blown fuses or bad relays. Like for example, right here, this is a 2005 Ford Taurus and you'd have a cooling fan low relay and you'd also have a cooling fan high relay. It'll also have two fuses on it. A quick way to check one of these relays is to look to see if there's another relay with the same numbers. Quite often a horn relay will be the same. So you can swap the relay to the horn and then push on the horn and see if it's working. But the first thing to go and do is to check for a blown fuse or a bad relay. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. There's like an open, short, bad connection something like this so just look around and look at the fan wires and be sure there's no issues going on there be sure all the connections look like they're good and things like this but the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on in the wiring and the next thing that could cause this and a very common issue with this code is going to be that there's a bad coolant temperature sensor the computer is using the engine coolant temperature sensor to know what the temperature in the engine is and when it reaches a certain temperature it's sending a command to that fan to turn on so if that sensor goes bad and it's reporting the bad information back to the computer then this can cause issues there can be multiple multiple engine coolant temperature sensors in a vehicle. So it can be a good idea to get a diagram of all the sensors located inside of your engine. A really old school method to test the coolant temperature sensor is to jump the wires going to the sensor that goes back to the computer. Because basically that coolant temperature sensor is just what's called a thermistor that the resistance changes inside of it as the temperature goes up. And so the computer is sending five volts to it. And as the resistance changes inside of that sensor, it's gonna know what the temperature of the engine is. If those wires going back to the computer are jumpered, the computer is gonna think the engine's overheating and that it's running really hot and those fans should kick on. Like I said, this is an old school method. So if you do use this method, be sure to be careful. If the fans kick on, don't leave it running like that. Be sure to swap out that sensor. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad coolant temperature sensor. If you go through and you don't have any blowing fuses there's no bad relays that engine temperature sensor is good there's no issues there then the next thing that's going to cause this is going to be a bad cooling fan one there's some different ways to go about testing these there's some good youtube videos on that and how you go about testing the fan but if you check everything else out very likely that fan's gone bad and just needs to be replaced and the last thing on the list is going to be the fan control module and this isn't going to be every vehicle. Some vehicles have these and some vehicles don't. But sometimes there's a fan control module. And if that goes bad, then it can cause issues. So last thing on the list is going to be the fan control module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a P0480 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.